Imagine that you go in to see a doctor and they just start pressing all over your body and they're like, does it hurt here? Does it hurt there? What about here? What about here? What about there? And they're just basically trying to guess what those pain points are to find what the problem is rather than just asking the prospect, where does it hurt? Hey guys, Subri Subi here. And I recently put a call out to my Instagram for anyone that was willing for me to go through and roast their funnel, where I would take a look at what they're doing, whether it's on paid ads or a landing page and a full blown funnel. And I would just go through step by step and show you what are the areas that I would look at to improve, to either improve the conversion rate or increase the AOV and just overall increase the performance. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right now. So the first one that I had came in from Kasun Avish, his website is Black Jet Coffee. I think that's how you say it. And as you can see up on my screen here, we arrive on what appears to be the homepage and we have Brazilian blend coffee drink without consequences. So we're just gonna go through this process just like you would if you were a prospect and you arrived on this landing page. I don't know what the traffic source is that you're running, but I arrive here, there's obviously, you know, a kind of a stock picture of coffee and coffee beans and the headline just says new Brazilian coffee blend. Now that is, a very, very ordinary headline, and there is no intrigue or really any benefit on there for me, for the end user. But I'm gonna leave my judgments aside for now. We're gonna go through the rest of the page and then we're gonna come back up and I'm gonna break it down step by step. So then the next thing we see is these little icons, sustainable packaging, split row style, um, express delivered to your door, cool. Nothing really crazy there. The only thing that kind of grabs my attention is this split roast style, so we'll read into that. Split roasting technique is a very complex, time-consuming and skilled process, and that is what makes black jet coffee special. Okay, so we're starting to get a little point of difference here, a little bit of a USP. Then we scroll down and we have pictures of mushrooms growing, and it says your daily dose of calm. Black jet mushroom magic. Got a little pop-up that pops up here. Um, and then the subhead below that says, get into state of flow by harness the power of adapt adaptogenic mushrooms and find the calm within. Cool, then we've got another three icons, boost cognitive performance, regain hormonal balance and improve sleep. And then we've got it's coffee, it's healthy, it's cough shrooms. Again, we've got more icons here, boost cognitive performance. And then if we expand out on the paragraph of text that's below that subhead, niacin and copper found in mushrooms promote function of the nervous system and keep the nerves healthy. Mushrooms contain vitamin B5, which is necessary for production of various hormones and play an important role in properly functioning brain. Regain hormonal balance, improve sleep. Then we go down and we've got some lion's mane coffee and chaga, and it looks like we've got two different sizes here. So cool, that's the prices. Then we've got start your day with manuka, honey, and coffee. So there's a lot going on, more icons going on here, and it's kind of just, there's a lot of different things that are kind of jumping out at me, and I don't really know what to, what to focus on or, or, or where to funnel my attention to, cool? So that's the entire page. So now let's basically rip through this thing step by step. It appears that there is a multitude of different styles of coffee that it is that you provide. And I don't know which one that you're looking to promote. If I scroll down to the section that kind of breaks out into a more e-commerce function, you can see that the single origin Guatemala is the only one that appears to be sold out. Sorry, we also have the organic hemp coffee that is also sold out. So if I click through to this product page, let's see what we have. Cool. So on this product page, is this your typical e-com? Here's the product, here's how much you get, this is what it costs, and these are all the different kind of pricing splits you get nutritional information. We've got a bit of a description on here. Organic hemp coffee is a delightful result of a perfected process of blending the USDA, um, USDA certified organic hemp protein powder with USDA yeah, certified organic fair trade specialty coffees from South and Central America. The end result is a delicious, smooth, full flavored, low acidity coffee with a nutty aftertaste. Cool, pitcher of coffee. Caffeine for weight loss, caffeine for endurance, caffeine for sports focus. 
So very much the same kind of method that we see on, on the homepage. So first of all, we're gonna have a look at the homepage. So we start off with the most important section of the entire website, which is the above the fold section of the homepage. By and large, this is a page that's gonna get the most amount of traffic, unless you've got some internal landing pages that you send all of your paid traffic to. This is the page, by and large, that's gonna get the lion's share of the traffic. So what we'll do before we start breaking down the coffee is we will look at a predictive heat mapping software that basically has a look at the concentration of attention flow for users once they hit your site. So what we can see here is that a disproportionate amount of the attention goes to the headline, which is exactly how we want it, which is great. Then there is no real focus on the CTA because it's try now and it's basically the exact same color as the background of that image, which is also a no-no, but I'm not one of those guys that gets all caught up on bu button color. Yes, it moves the needle, but it's what I call a one percenter. It's not those things that's gonna give you a violent swing in conversion rate improvement. So that's what we can see on this. And then with perception, maps, it's very much the same thing. Predominant focus goes to the main headline and then a bit of focus going down to the, the icons and the text below that. We have all of this attention going to the headline, but the headline doesn't move any freight. It's not going to do anything to entice the user to read the rest of the page. Now, when it comes to increasing conversion rates and average order value and the overall ROAS, if you're an e-com business, is consumption. Consumption precedes conversion. If you want to get people to convert, you need to get them to consume. Because right now you're trying to educate me about this new and unique coffee that you've got. And I'm getting all this kind of mixed signals that is coming out from here. We've got all these different types of coffee. And then we go straight into the e-com side of things. And we're basically just ramming these little icons down people's throats and expecting that to be enough to move enough freight to get somebody to buy. And that is just not the way that it works. So the first thing that you really need to do with your headline is express to someone what the big benefit would be from consuming this coffee, but also have burning intrigue around partnered with that big benefit of what it is that they want so that they're gonna go on and read the rest of the page. The headline's job is to get them to read the sub headline. And then the sub headline's job is to get them to read the first line of your lead in copy. And then the first line of the lead in copy's job is to get you to read the next line of the copy and so on and so forth. But if we look at this page, there's really nothing on there to get me to, to kind of want to read this thing. You've got Brazilian blend coffee, but then if I scroll down the page, then we start talking about mushrooms, which seems to be the unique point of difference. And then above that, we've got this split roasting style. And then we're talking about sustainable packaging. So we're already kind of tr trying to show our hand there. And then further down, we, we talk about boost cognitive performance, regaining hormonal balance, improving sleep, right? Through coffee, that's a bit of a, you know, a crazy idea there. And then you start talking about lion's mane and chaga and you a manuka honey coffee. So the very first thing that I would say is that like, what is the reason that people buy this coffee? What is the number one mass market desire that it is that this market wants or the benefit that this coffee provides? And that's the thing that you really wanna be zeroing in in. And that's what I call the bullseye of your market. You can't tell me that it's everything. That's complete horseshit. It's not everything. There's gonna be one ultimate thing that it is that they want. Okay. You might have different products that then focus on different things. One might be it helps you with fat loss. Another one might be that it helps with sleep or focus. And then you might focus the individual product pages specific to that big benefit that they want. But in terms of the actual homepage of the site, you need to be grabbing me. You need to be telling a story with your product because let's just be completely frank. Mixing coffee with you know mushrooms is not a, a unique concept. The internet is plagued with this stuff, Lion's Man and Chaga and all of these different things. So if you're going for the angle of you're gonna be positioning this as a brand new and unique and a novel thing that I need to pay attention to, then you better tell me in the headline. And if it's not, and if you find that your market is way more sophisticated and they're doing research, they've got multiple tabs open, they know about all the different medicinal properties of mushrooms and which mushrooms gives you what benefits, then you need to position how this is different 
to all the alternative solutions that are present in the marketplace. So if we start reading your copy, we can start to kind of have a look at what would be an angle? What would be a hook that we could put on this page to slowly get somebody to start reading the rest of the copy on the page. Because the way that I look at a homepage is you wanna get somebody bought in to the overall value proposition and story that it is that you have got and that your brand has got and that your product has got before you then start kicking them out to different products to get them to buy. And if we were to arrive on this, it's Brazilian blend coffee, drink without consequences, try now. And that's it. And then you're trying to get me to basically click through to, to that page. So let's start to gather the raw materials throughout your page and start to formulate what it is that we could do to improve the overall consumption and hence the conversion rate of this page. The way that I think about it is I start to basically get this raw material. So we've got split roasting style. The split roasting technique is very complex, time consuming and skilled process that it makes a black jet coffee special. Cool. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to open up a new Google Doc and I'm just going to start pasting this stuff in there. Okay. First split roasting style is the first thing that kind of, okay, there, there might be a hook there. Then we've got um, mushroom magic. Get into, get in the state of flow by harness, the, it should be harnessing the power of adaptogen mushrooms. Cool. So this is the next thing that I'm going to grab. and I'll paste that into the Google Doc. Then we've got boost cognitive performance, regain hormonal balance, improve sleep. There are three alternative angles that you could potentially use, but you can't say all three. You can't be like boost cognitive performance, regain hormonal balance and improve sleep because they're three different categories altogether. And the person that is gonna wanna be doing, like is someone that's looking, okay, cool, I wanna get a coffee that really gets me deep into flow state or gives me crazy focus, then that's what they're gonna be thinking about. They're gonna be thinking about the focus piece. They're not going to be thinking about improving the sleep part. Or then there may, might be a segment of the market who whenever they have caffeine, it just destroys their sleep. So they're looking for some kind of coffee that doesn't give them jitters and doesn't wreck their sleep. So then that's the angle that we would go in. But all of this stuff, right? You're not writing copy and just coming up with these angles from your brain. You're researching your market in forensic like detail to find out what it is that they want. And then you're just assembling what it is that they want into an offer, into a copy and into an angle. You're not trying to come up with, trying to ch just create desire for your marketplace. You're trying to channel what people are already starving for in that marketplace. And you do that by using a method that I call the halo strategy, where you start to really dive deep into your market's monkey brain to find out exactly what it is that they do want. We don't want to be guessing what it is because that's not the way that you get funnels to convert like crazy. You do it by finding what it is that that market is starving for and then coming up with a really unique hook and compelling copy and a great offer to lure them in and get them to take action. Then we go further down and you kind of expand on those different three points, right? So now you've got boost cognitive performance. That could be an angle in itself. And you expand out that on that a little bit with niacin and copper found in mushrooms. That is not new, unique because it's say, you're saying that it already is found in mushrooms. So I'm gonna kind of leave that right now. Then you've got another headline. Every sip will promote positive feelings and lift your mood. This is the equivalent, this landing page of doing what I call is like, imagine that you go in to see a doctor and they just start pressing all over your body and they're like, does it hurt here? Does it hurt there? What about here? What about here? What about there? They're just basically trying to guess what those pain points are to find what the problem is rather than just asking the prospect, where does it hurt? And then just finding exactly where they need to go in and focus where we're trying to hit all the possible angles in this market and we're trying to speak to everyone. And when we do that, we don't speak to anybody because it's just like throwing spaghetti at a wall and seeing what sticks. And it's not an effective way to get somebody to do what it is that you want to do. Now we go into this Manuka honey. Medium dark roasted organic um, Ar Arabica beans glazed with raw New Zealand Manuka honey will have you feeling refreshed and energized all morning long. Our coffee is made to reduce the effects of caffeine and improve your overall health. Okay, that's definitely another angle. So we will chuck this 
also in our Google Doc. And then we go on, it says, our coffee is designed to reduce the effects of caffeine on your health. 80% of US adults consume caffeine every day, but long-term consumption can lead to a wide range of serious problems. From common symptoms to include restfulness, shakiness, and insomnia, headaches, dizziness, fast heart rate and dehydration, anxiety, and dependence. Again, you're listing absolutely every single positive, negative, effect of drinking coffee in the hopes to hit some kind of bullseye in the market, but that's not the way that it works. So we'll keep going down the page here. Now we've got Black Jet Coffee. Black Jet Coffee uses less caffeine to produce a more focused and relaxed state of mind without giving the jitters that come from drinking other caffeinated coffees. So it, it, it appears that this is like a big reoccurring theme. So another thing that I'm going to do here is just copy this, put it in my doc. And then we've got high in antioxidants. We start telling about the unique properties of the actual product. Now, this is where things get a little bit confusing. We're talking about single origin Ethiopian African coffee, but we had Brazilian coffee in the headline. So like, what is it? Are we selling South American coffee or is it African coffee? And don't say both because if it's both, then you can't lead with a big Brazilian one in the actual headline of it. So it might be looking at this, right? I can see that the single origin Ethiopian coffee is not sold out, but the Guatemalan one is. So maybe that like we, we just want to get rid of the Ethiopian one and go all in on the, the Guatemalan angle or the South American angle. Cool, we scroll down, got some testimonials on here, got questions, we've got answers. There's a lot going on on this page. And the first thing that I wanna really do is kind of strip back to find out what that mass market desire is. And also where are we gonna craft our offer to hit that bullseye and make this something that would actually be interesting for this market to read. So if we look at our raw materials that we've gathered throughout the page, we've got split roasting style, we've got get into the flow state by harnessing the power of adaptogenic mushrooms, the effects of caffeine improve your overall health. And then we've got about like the downsides of drinking regular coffee. What I have found is that you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. I.e. if you lead with the big benefits of what it is that your product or service has, it is a lot more compelling than leading with a negative thing in your marketplace. So let's start to think about, okay, let's attach ourselves to the idea that we're gonna be promoting a coffee that is gonna be promoting flow state or harnessing the power of like deep focus and without the jitters and without all the, the, the negative things that come through it. From reading this page and like looking throughout this page, it looks like a, a bunch of the coffee is, you know, you're sourcing the coffee from all over the world, even though we've got Brazilian in, in the headline. If we go through to your About Us page and read a little bit about exactly this company. This might give us, typically this is the first place that I do want to look. I, I, I want to look at like, is there a unique story? Is there something that I can latch on here that's going to be unique about this brand? So I can position this in a way that isn't commodity. Because that's the thing with e-com. You don't want to be classed into a commodity. You don't want to be talking, for instance, that you use lion's mane and chaga mushrooms. Instead, you want to be talking about your proprietary blend of these adaptogenic mushrooms. Because otherwise, you're putting yourself into a product where someone can open up Amazon and then they can just type in lion's mane coffee and then they can find the cheapest alternative and then they can go with that. So you're basically creating a whole bunch of desire for this category of products and then people can just go into shopping mode, race for the bottom and they can look for the cheapest product within that category. Instead, what we wanna do is we want to use our copy, we wanna use our ingredients to basically create a USP, a unique selling proposition so they can't just go and find this blend of our mushrooms or the, the way that we do the coffee roasting and this combination that makes the magic, that is the secret sauce that gives the prospect the outcome that it is that they want. So on the About Us page, it's pretty much just saying the same stuff that we saw on 
the, the rest of the homepage. Yeah, we're talking about like it's carbon neutral, you know, it's FDA registered. Um, so we've got, okay, cool. So it looks like you've got a facility in Denver, Colorado. You source the beans over internationally, you bring them into Denver, Colorado, you process them and then you sell them. I am going to assume from looking at the homepage that the most popular is these South American coffees. So that's the angle that I wanna go on. I wanna create something that is unique around a story around, and I know that South American coffee isn't unique. It's, it's everywhere, it's a complete commodity. However, we need to start formulating an angle that is gonna be unique. And the way that you really wanna be thinking about your headline is what is it that you could put in your headline that would pique the curiosity of the big benefit that this market wants and get them to read and get further invested in what it is that you do. So that's exactly what we're gonna have a look for. So we have the raw materials of the, 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 the different things that where we could be playing around with. And I'm gonna say that the mass market desire for this, and again, I'm assuming everything, if this was my funnel, if I was gonna be crafting this or managing this, then the first thing that I would wanna really be doing is spending two to five days on understanding absolutely everything about this category and understanding more importantly, everything about my prospect and looking at what are the products that are selling best in this category, what are the one stars, five stars, three stars, what are the passionate people about this category saying online? And what's the number one reason why people buy this product? Assume that I have done all that. And basically the assumptions that I will be making in terms of my hook and my story that I come with this is gonna be based on research and not based on Captain Subi just coming up with a crazy idea, right? So we're gonna assume that, and then we wanna start thinking about, okay, what, what are some headlines that we can come up with? Here's one that I've just spitballed out. Forbidden coffee once reserved for Amazonian warriors unlocks deep flow state and unshakable focus. So we're, we're going with why is this forbidden? That obviously is gonna pique some curiosity in this marketplace. And we wanna pick some story. Either it's whether we're, go, we're going down the Ethiopian angle or we're gonna go down like an Amazonian angle, we have to have something that's gonna tie in and want people to know more. So first of all, like why was this coffee forbidden? And if it's reserved for Amazonian warriors to get the big benefit that it is that they want, which is to unlock deep flow state and unshakable focus. And then what we, we might say, we might take this copy that you've already got. So I'll just make this nice and big. And we might say, okay, cool. Well, for the sub headline, we, we do want to expand out on this whole thing that we've found that is present in the marketplace, which is like, yeah, people want coffee. They want to unlock a lot of energy that comes through. However, they don't want to get the coffee shakes. They don't want their sleep to go in the trash. They don't want all of the downsides of drinking coffee because they're just slamming themselves with some super, super high concentrated caffeine. And then we might be like, you know, without the jitters that come from drinking other caffeinated coffees. However, I would say that if we're gonna be going with a story hook, we don't really wanna be going down that angle for this page because we're basically then eluding that we're gonna to try to sell them something straight out the gate, where what we really wanna be doing is we wanna get them further to read the rest of the copy. So typically what we would do in the sub headline is we would expand out on the headline complex and what we said in the headline. And then we would basically lead with something like, this has been like recently rediscovered and keep reading to find out how you could potentially get your hands on some. So then it, it focuses them to read the rest of the page. Then that becomes the cornerstone of your funnel and you use that hook in all of your ads you can create some videos you can use like some ancient illustrations and it all becomes a lot more intriguing than here's some coffee ramming it down their throat it's got lion's mane and chaga mushrooms you should buy it buy it buy it buy it and it turns into a story that engulfs that person and gets them like wanting to find out more and wanting to read and then as you go further down you'd then be talking about the story about this thing 
These coffee beans were discovered, you know, 1,322 years ago when these warriors would go into battle or when they would need to deeply focus and plan out on mapping these ancient cities. And they used to extract and boil these coffee, these coffee beans and get this coffee. They would mix it with these mushrooms that they found on the forest floor in the Amazon rainforest. And this would give them like almost like super laser-like unshakable focus where they could focus for days at a time and they would never get the jitters. And you would talk about how they stumbled across this rare combination, for instance. I'm just making this up on the fly. You would lead them in, you've been talking about all the benefits, da 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 da. And up until recently, this has only been rediscovered. However, it's unlike all of these other things that you've found. Because these warriors found that if they just mix these mushrooms with normal coffee beans or they boiled them for too long, that they would get all these negative side effects. We're already starting the selling argument about just going to somewhere else and getting this for cheaper and us becoming a commodity. And then you keep on going, we're not revealing that we've got this product yet. And then you'd go up until recently, this had been lost. This was a, a lost recipe that had been forgotten for thousands of years or for hundreds of years or whatever it might be. And then until we found, you know, some ancestors of this a Amazonian tribe and they've been passing this down for many, many generations. And we have patented this and we've created this unique blend and we've done a small batch sample that we're only trialing in this market or we're opening up a limited batch to this marketplace. And then you would go and you would further elaborate out on your sales page about all the other things about how it's it's organic coffee and it's fair trade and all of the kind of other things that you led with from the very get-go. And that's where we get into the product reveals when we start talking about those things. And if you said to me like, hey, like what is the biggest sin that you see e-commerce businesses commit? It's exactly this. It's they're used to getting traffic from some influencer where it's already endorsed traffic. They're doing a lot of the story reveal on there or they're hyping it up and kind of endorsing that. They send them to, to a very generic Shopify homepage that just sends them out to all the different products. And then that's about it. And that's the only only traffic that they can ever get to work. And even that's becoming increasingly difficult to work. That doesn't work when you're running to cold traffic, when you're running on Google ads, when you're running on YouTube ads, when you're running on Facebook or TikTok ads, and you need to take people that are just sleepwalking zombies on the internet, and you need to get their attention on the ad platform, suck them into your page, tell them a story, and basically take someone that knew nothing about buying this type of coffee when they woke up in the morning, to then seeing this ad, and falling down the rabbit hole that is your funnel and then buying $100 worth of this crazy coffee before they even knew what was going on. And the reason why they can't do it is because they have these just generic templated Shopify sites that don't do any heavy lifting. They don't tell any stories. They don't come up with any unique hooks in order to take that wanderer on the internet, that stranger, educate them enough to the place where they actually wanna buy what it is that you've got. And this is just a on the fly of example of all of the things that I would basically look at with this funnel, these are the things that are gonna lift the most freight. We could easily come across to the site, we could go try now, we could then do what most conversion rate optimization people do, or marketers, or however you wanna say it, and we could start going through and talking about optimizing button color and checkout flows and removing the navigation. Like yes, all of those things are important, but it would absolutely be the most mindless activity to go down that route until we have fixed the biggest thing, which is what is unique? What is the hook of what it is that this marketplace really wants? And then we would optimize all of the different steps further down the funnel. But I see a lot of people optimizing. They have the proof, they have the limited, they have the viral product, they have the fire emoji, they have countdown timers, they have discount codes, they have you know the pop-ups with like, give us your email and we'll give you 10 to $25 off. They have all of that stuff dialed in, which is all just ticking stuff off of checklists, but they don't actually come up with a big unique hook that's just gonna grab that marketplace and stir up enough desire to actually wanna get them to add it to their cart in the first place, or gonna wanna get them to check out and start assessing what's going on. Because if we go through the rest of this funnel, I know that they don't have a unique idea, they don't have a big idea or a hook, so it's mindless going through the rest of their checkout and trying to optimize all of those things.
things. None of that stuff means anything unless you have a big, unique idea and a hook for your marketplace. So that's just an example on the fly of all the steps that I would go through to basically come up with a big idea, look for the raw materials and formulate a big idea and hook for your marketplace to really get this sales funnel converting on cold traffic. So I hope you heed my advice. I hope you research, find out exactly what it is that your market wants. Go through all the customer service emails that you get. Go through all the competitors' products. Really, really find out the number one thing that your market wants. Not all the things that they want, but the number one thing that they want. Go ahead, make those changes to this page and keep me updated and let me know how you get on. And if you run an e-commerce business, I hope you got a lot of value out of this. We're gonna be making more videos like this. So if you enjoyed this, make sure that you like and subscribe as we don't have any upload schedule to make sure that you don't miss out on this.